This is supposed to be a stewardship talk. It's my time of year, my turn, to give a stewardship talk about encouraging you to get involved in the school and, and provide your stewardship time at the school. But we're in a pandemic, and most people think that because of the pandemic, you can't come into the school. And I want to give you a few examples of how that really isn't true this year. We have a group of volunteers that help us in the office, and we have to limit a lot of things. We restrict a lot of things, but they still come into the office and they help us. That's been a real uh, blessing for us, to have that help. We still have volunteers that help us in the library. Not a lot of them, but we have some, because we still have library. Library time in the classroom now instead of in the library. The books have to be shelved, and they have to be sterilized, and they have to be shuffled because we have a lot of readers and we need to get the books ready for them. We have some people helping us with that. We could use more. We've just completed volleyball, cross country, football season, finished our girls basketball season. We have athletics. We're in the middle of our boys or beginning our boys basketball season. So we have coaches and we have people that help us set up for the games, take down after the games, help us with all the details that we have to have with COVID this year. We appreciate their help. We could use more. We have a couple of projects that are somewhat school related, somewhat parish related, kind of a fine line there, kind of a gray area. We have a building project that where we had some, uh, some men build the shed out in the back that houses the uh, lawn mowers that help take care of the grounds over the summer. Some of that was volunteer work. We have a prayer garden that's a work in progress. Beautiful start though, really nice start. Some of that work was volunteer work. That's something that people can do. We had a, a group of workers that mowed our yards and took care of our grounds and continue to take care of the grounds. It helps the parish, it helps the school. That's something someone can do and we've had that. We had a very successful virtual turkey bingo. Virtual, couldn't all crowd in the gym this year, but we had a, quite a team of volunteers that put that together. One of our most successful turkey bingos ever, because people participated from home. That's something that people were able to do. We weren't able to purchase 40 Chromebooks this year because we were denied some of the government money that was going to some of the schools. We weren't allowed to have it. So a group of, many of you actually, just donated $50 here, $100 there, some a little more. And we were able to purchase 75 Chromebooks and two carts. That's something that people were able to do. There's a lot happening this year, an awful lot happening. And it's, it's an incredible year. In a year of pandemic, where people are afraid to gather or concerned. We're still having school and we could still use help. If you'd like to connect to the school, this is your invitation. You can be in the school doing it, you can be outside of school doing it, it doesn't really matter. You can do things from home, but it's different. We do things, have to do things differently. But we started when everybody else started the school year and we're going to finish till the very end. Some of our students are quarantined, we were, because of the technology now that we have, we can remote to them from home. When they're well, they come back. When teachers have to be quarantined, we, quarant we remote when they're at home, and then we have them come back when they're, when they're ready. But we're going to have school. As long as we have school, we could use help. If this is something you'd like to participate in, please give us a call.